Hi, I'm Holger. And I came to this place that we're visiting today, when was it, 10, 13 years ago. And there was a brand new super spa and a brand new tops. So it's wow and his family own this place and we really want to just show off what is available here because it's so close to the freeway and the only reason people come to Camperdown is to get their driver's license <laughs> renewed. Is that right or what else have you got here? Look, we, we, we have an incredible range of steaks. <laughs> um, we've got an awesome coffee shop, great coffee. Um, we've also got an awesome tops. You got a tops and you've got a KFC and a, and a pharmacy. And a pharmacy, five eight, all five banks. Um, yeah. So what, what we're trying to really do is just showcase this place and let people know that it exists. So when you're driving between Marisburg and Durban, you can just pop off and... Uh, exit 57. Exit 57 and you'll feel welcome here and you'll find a whole lot of stuff here. And we, we're going to try and show you this on the videos and on the photos that we're doing on social media and share a bit of the journey yeah what share we're going a bit of through. the journey as we start and, and grow this place what do you think 100 percent. should we do that let's do this okay you know Holger the other thing people know camp around for is the Amashova the Amashova I was gonna say comrades oh she's no <laughs> <laughs> well bo both races come through camp I yeah. personally have done Amashova or well, attempted it once and finished it sec the second time uh, it's an incredible race. I'm actually doing one now from from Cater Ridge though through to for 65 Ks for cancer okay. One of my friends. So that means about 30,000 people know where Camperdown is. I'm sure a little bit more, but yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's find out. Should we check out what what's happening inside? Okay, great. Let's do it So when did you open this tops? We opened on the 23rd of December at 4 p.m. in 2009 It's been a long road. <laughs> it's been a long road and must have been busy on that day. Cheese like a day a before Christmas. Yep. Well, two days before. Two days before Christmas. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's that's that's a long time. So, and now it's time to do a little bit of new something new. Yeah, but we're we'll slowly starting to revamp, bring in new products, um, add range, and clean it up quite a bit. Okay. And we're going to capture that on videos, I think. We've yeah. started to do some videos with you talking about new products. Yeah. And what has the response been like? <laughs> I'm finding it quite funny, to be honest. <laughs> like, it, yeah, uh, it seems to have worked for us. Yeah. But uh, show us how you do it with your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he does, and that's his sign. Yeah. But it, but it got banned, didn't it? Yes, it did. It, it, <laughs> it was kicked to the curb. Yeah. Um, more importantly, by my mother. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to use a bit. We, we're going to grow the range a little bit. Yes. Um, try a little bit of craft beer, I think. Craft gin. Yes. Um, Which we have brought in, and yes, some of the products are absolutely incredible. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they, they have enough, given enough justice. Um, I am drinking a lot more than I used to. Yeah. But it's a lot more fun. I can see there's always one b bottle missing straight away when we bring in the new <laughs> thing, and I, and I, was, I always get very excited. We've got a customer, but then I realize. I am the customer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need more customers to visit N3 City um, to try out all these new products. Um, what have we started? We've started craft beer. We've taken on uh, the Durban Brewing Company. We've got this beautiful stuff from from the Spa Tops Beer Fest. Pretty good stuff. Um, we've got craft gin, tonics, gin and tonics ready to drink. We've got that non-alcoholic stuff. Yeah, we've also got some really interesting vodkas. I show us. Yeah, I know, like, like honestly, it's, it's quite an interesting bottle. I mean, if you think about it. Yeah, like it's just, apparently I'm going to try it tonight, in fact, it's a really good vodka. <laughs> yeah, and then we're also going to run some specials, I mean, whatever whatever we can punt on, on the, I think on the KVIs as well, on the known brands, um, and just make it a little bit more visible. Yeah, like uh, getting our name out there and making sure you know that we're definitely a destination on the N3 on the way. Oh yeah, it's on the N3, is this <laughs> off, which off ramp? Exit 57. <laughs> <laughs> So we're in the Nossa Cafe, that's inside Camperdown Super Spa. What time do you open? Half past six. Half past six? And what time do you, I wonder what time the licensed people get here? Seven. 
that's the customers, but the guys yeah, that work the there. The, the licensing opens at seven o'clock. Oh wow! Okay. So before before they go there, they can come, come here and get cup coffee. Of coffee. Generally, when the queues are long, people, the one person ends up running here to spa, grabbing an awesome cup of coffee, and going to enjoy it. Okay, but it's not about coffee. You also do like a lunch. Sandwiches, sandwiches, okay. Lunches, burgers, pregos. And I guess your day normally starts in this place. Like it's guaranteed every morning when I come into work, the very first thing I do is I have two double espressos. In fact, I have a sign that my team know. At the moment I put this up, they know they bring me two double espressos and a still water. Is this a still water? No, this that's two. <laughs> and that's the double espresso. <laughs> and they just know that a water comes with it. <laughs> So now we're in uh, your spiritual home, I nearly said. <laughs> yeah, well. This is, this is kind of Johnny's passion project, I think. Yes, it most certainly is. And I think it's mainly, I was going to say the, the rum steak, but it's not. It's the it's salt something slabs. Else. <laughs> uh, anybody who knows me knows that I'm very passionate about salt slabs. And... Cuck. So this one's actually a bit bigger than the, the, the old ones we had here. So they get even bigger. They get even bigger. So what is a salt slab? It's full of salt. It's it solid. is literally a salt slab. It is Himalayan crystal salt. You, you heat it up slowly on the bra or on the stove at home and you fry your steak on it. You can also do fish and stuff like that. I haven't tried that yet. I'm definitely having some steak on, on my one tonight. Um, it sounds good, but but this this is really the beginning of, I think. Where we want to go? Yeah, because first of all, telling the story about that. Now everybody knows you as a <laughs> the salt slab guy, I guess. <laughs> Something like that. But also about your stakes. So yeah. when people drive on the N3, they stop off. Exit 57. And they come and buy stakes. Isn't yeah. that? Well, that's, I mean, that's really what the story we want to start with. Well, what we came to realize was that there's no way that you can seriously trust your butcher when it comes to steak. A really world-class steak. I have a world-class team, so why not sell world-class steaks? Become okay. like the bra destination. Exactly. Now that's, I think that's a good start. And then we had this idea and we put it on Facebook and what happened? Did it's it working. Work? No, it yeah. most certainly is working. <laughs> I mean, jeez. We, uh, rum steak is the number one product in our store. Already? Already. Like it took a week, I think it was a week or so, and it became the number one selling product in our store by Rand value. Okay. I mean, I'm in the middle of camp it on. Yeah. Uh, exit 57 and I saw more <laughs> rump than anything else. Okay. And then, then, then we're thinking how we're going to start. We could add some non-alcoholic beers and all that stuff. Yes. Um, and, and make this a little bit uh, man cave. We're actually getting some knives in. Okay. As well, we... Oh, I'm actually trying to get a bra. So we're trying to get bras, knives, uh, okay. anything that you would need at home for, for a bra will be your destination. So on a Saturday morning, if you're not driving to the license department, you can still take a little trip on the entry and come and visit uh, Camperdown Spa and just have a look at what's happening here. Buy your steak, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not just about price. Quality has to play a part. And yeah. we seriously take a lot of effort to make sure that we've got the very best steak at a rock bottom price at all so times. So just show us one of those. I just saw JP cutting one yes. now. Look at that. Now, I don't know how people like steak, but... I like it like this. <laughs> yes. I like it like this. Look at that. Oh. It's absolutely incredible. Beautifully aged. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. So, but I mean, for me, it's more about the journey, and I think this is this is the start of it, and this is what what you can do and show off to get people to visit your store. Okay. Right? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, so, the ne the next step is we, we want to expand the range of steaks. Uh, we we generally do a tomahawk. We've run out of them. Oh, uh, we've literally sold out. <laughs> yeah. I actually bought myself a a Kadak bra, gas bra, last night. It's like adult Lego trying to put that thing together. It's insane. Is like it hard or is it fun? 
it's a bit of both <laughs> to, to be honest i don't know if i'd recommend everyone do it yeah it, it, like my patients did wear thin eventually but i mean it's beautiful i can't wait i'm brying on it tonight a gas bra gas bra a gas bra okay yes. And can you put your slab on top? I am actually definitely putting it on top, and I'm actually gonna. I'll video. I'll actually send you a video of, okay. of me brying a my salt slab. Okay. T now tell us about this dry dry aged steak. So generally, people wet age your steak. Yeah. So it sits in the in the vacuum sealed bag with the, the whole the whole rum. the whole rum. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, and then what happens is you're looking around now is also because there were some for sale here we, the other we day. actually do sell them in holes um, now what, what we decided to do is I want to understand the difference between wet age and dry age so dry age means you literally just hang the rump with no plastic no nothing let the blood drip so so it literally looks like I don't know if you imagine like it cakes like around the, the, the rump and it gets moldy and black and it looks terrible. Oh. And then you cut that all off and you've got steak. And it's apparently, from what I gather, it is the most tender rump on planet Earth. Like, absolutely incredible stuff. I'm gonna try it tonight. Okay. Well, on that gas bra. Okay. <laughs> now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Do yourself a favor, get some steak. Yeah, and visit Joao here in Camperdown. <laughs> Exit 57. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>